All right, y'all, this is a big one. Fighting games and anxiety. Now, I'm not talking about, like, tournament anxiety, right? Because that's always a thing at every level, from, like, the smallest locals to the biggest, you know, national tournaments and things. Everybody gets nerves in tournament. I'm talking about the, the feeling in the pit of your stomach that you get, like, before you even go to play against a friend of yours, or if you go to play against, like, a random person online, that's a big one. Uh, you know, you, you know the feeling. You're getting ready to jump online in a fighting game that you love, and you just want to play this fighting game against people, but every time you think about it, you're like, you know, this is going to go wrong, that's going to go wrong. I, I, I don't know if I want to put myself in that situation. And 90% of the time, more like 99% of the time, once you realize, oh my god, I know this game, I love this game. Why was I so afraid to jump on and play it? What am I afraid of? And that's really what it comes down to. What are you afraid of? I know in, in my we, We're All Ryu video, I mentioned this, and uh, it's a lot about the invisible audience, right? No one is watching while you're playing that match. You're sitting there, you're by yourself, you're playing against somebody from across the world if you got decent netcode, thank fucking god for rollback. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there's no pressure there. Why are, why are you scared? I'll tell you why you're scared. You're a very, very harsh critic of yourself, which, spoiler alert, everyone is high fury. Especially when you consider how much time you have invested in getting better and playing and when you go into a match all of those things are put to the test and you might be a little nervous like I don't feel confident right now and I'm and I'm scared I'm I'm legit scared of how I'm going to perform but it's it's usually pretty easy to overcome okay and and this comes from years of just having regular anxiety you know you get, grab a hold of your surroundings right understand that you know there's no reason for you to be anxious. This is a game. Uh, it's a game that's really, really important to you and you really, really want to be good at, but that's going to take time no matter who you are. The anxiety comes when you're in the corner and you're blocking and you're like, oh god, what do I do? That's regular ass fighting game anxiety that everybody gets. Like, who? what? Uh, this option. Uh, how do I beat it? Oh shit, I gotta think of it in like point four seconds. I have to think of what beats this, right? That's adrenaline and that's awesome. It's when you're thinking about jumping on to play it that you have to you have to nip in the bud. And I'm not telling you to like get over that because it's it's very easy for someone to just say get over it. And you know if you have anxiety, that's the last thing you want to hear is for somebody to tell you get over it. It can take some mental preparedness, right, to get yourself in, into the mindset of not worrying about so many of these problems that are mostly in your head. Again, back to the invisible audience. No one is watching, no one cares. It doesn't actually exist. Even when you go online and you net play somebody, right? Let's say, you know, you, you get beat the shit out of, you get 10 owed. That person is just gonna move on, right? That match is over, that's it. That's just another match, dude. Even if it was a really close match and it was like a 9-9 match, and you guys go toe-to-toe -to -toe the whole time, and one person comes out on top, whether it's you or whether it's them. They're gonna be in that moment like, man, that was a really good match, that was awesome, cool, dude. Next day, they're gonna forget all about it, right? <laughs> or they're just gonna like get in another match that's even, you know, more hype than that. So you don't need to worry about your performance because it's like dust in the wind, dude. Fighting game players are a dime a dozen. It's very hard to break out and get people to really notice how good you are, or probably even better advice for everybody out there with anxiety, nobody is going out there and trying to like talk shit about how bad you are. If they do, they're a douchebag. These are all scenarios that hardly ever happen. If you ever hear something about the FGC being that toxic, you can rest assured that that's like 0.1% of the community. Everybody out here is cool as shit for the most part. There'll be little jabs here and there. It's a fighting game. We're competitive. I'm gonna say some shit. Other people are gonna say some shit, but it's never going to be malicious. It's never going to be... It's never gonna go beyond the game unless you're a piece of shit. And let's be real, there are some pieces of shit out there who will go beyond the game. Don't associate with those people, just don't do it. But your anxiety is very much self-made. The only person that's that's judging you is you. My day off is tomorrow, and I always play 
fighting games on my day off because I always play fighting games when I get a free fucking moment to play fighting games because they're the shit. And before I play, I'll sit there and like, do you remember the video about having a bad night of fighting games? That is the anxiety that I get. I have like maybe one bad night every like three months, four months. Usually it's whatever. It's just, I'm fucking playing fighting games and I have a great time. But the fact that there's that chance, that's the problem that I face. I just jump on and play. By the time I'm done, I'm like, cool. That was awesome. I fucking love playing fighting games, dude. If every time I start thinking this way before I jump on to play fighting games, I chose not to play a fighting game, it wouldn't be my favorite genre, would it? Have confidence in the fact that you know you love fighting games and the reason that you have anxiety about playing them is because you love them so much. Let's be real, dude. Fighting games for life. Greatest video game genre ever made. Fight me. Literally, fight me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's play a fighting game, dude. There's no reason to be anxious. Fun fact that what's been playing throughout this entire video is uh, Lost Fragments from Chrono Cross. The reason that I chose to play this is because this is a song that I go to from a video game that always chills me out and puts me in a good place. So if you have something like that, it might be a good idea to do something you know that, that chills you out before you play a fighting game. Because if you're going in already anxious, once you're in that, once you're in that, I'm, God, he's just pressure is too good situation, you're, you're doomed. You're fucking doomed. You're not going to learn anything. You're just going to get frustrated. What I love about the Two-Tone Talk series is that I get to take a lot of my experiences from years and years of playing fighting games and put them in a, a giant playlist and share the things I've gone through. I freaking love it that I get to have an outlet for that stuff and hearing you guys comment and talk about it and relate is really awesome too, so do that. I'd really like to hear tactics that they use to kind of relieve their, their anxiety, but fighting game or otherwise, you know? just talk about what you need to talk about. My comment section is pretty damn cool, and most people you talk to are gonna be cool too. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.